Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the fastest and cheapest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. we have the ak promo players for tomorrow that have been revealed now in terms of when is the content going to come out i would expect it at 10 30 but remember there may be some delays because of the hurricane stuff so we'll see i do want to give a shout out to tony colas for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel turn the notification bell on and comment down below noti gang now also guys of course today is sunday and we do have sunday night football coming up so if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy you can use code zerk to match first deposit it up to hundred dollars and follow me over on twitter for my picks i already have my picks up for the 8 p.m game i also had my picks up earlier this afternoon uh, for the 1 p.m games for the 4 p.m even this morning as well at like 9 a.m with that london game so check it out and of course we also have football tomorrow we have monday night football use code zerk to match first deposit up to hundred dollars and speaking of sunday night football guys if you want to come and hang out with me on let's hang dot live i will leave a link at the top of the comment section you guys go in and click in there and get your tickets for absolutely absolutely free 100 percent free you can just hang out in the chat you can ask questions or you can even get on screen and talk to me mmg tyron woodley a bunch of other people they're gonna be in there the garrett blunt dante hall there's a lot of people that are gonna be in this call i'm gonna be on screen the entire time you can come on there turn on your face cam talk to us ask some questions have a good time and watch the game when you guys click that link it's gonna bring you to this page all you guys have to do is click on free tickets and then right here all you need to do is select if you want to do the VIP so you can get on screen, go to next, and all you have to put in is your name, your email, number, and zip code. That is it absolutely free so let's take a look here at the ak promo cards they're going to be dropping tomorrow and as i did say you know they didn't say anything about a delay so kind of just expecting it to be a 10 30 a.m eastern time but i gotta say this megatron the card art on this card is that not like the greatest card art you've ever seen because to me i think this may be the best card art i have legitimately ever seen and before we even get into these cards to talk about their stats and everything i just want to reiterate this hashtag pack strike yes we are still on the pack strike absolutely i would not be spending any money uh and unless these cards are a lot cheaper than i think they're gonna be i will not be picking them up but calvin johnson 91 speed of course he's six foot five 94 jumping 88 catch 89 catch in traffic 94 spectacular catch he is 87 short 91 medium and 94 deep route running I mean, this card is just crazy. This card is absolutely crazy now. Here is the thing, though, okay? And there is a legitimate conversation to be had about who actually is the best wide receiver in the game. Because we have DK here, who is 6'3", and Megatron is 6'5", okay? So he's a little bit taller, 2 inches taller, 91 speed. 91 speed 94 jumping dk 92 jumping okay well let's take a look here at the catching catching traffic we have 88 and 89 dk 90 catching 88 catching traffic which i actually thought the catch traffic was a little bit low on dk and also it's only 89 on megatron but he has 94 spec catch whereas dk has 92 so when you're looking at just the base stuff there all right, well, you might lean more towards Calvin Johnson. Now, also the acceleration, we don't know yet for Megatron, but on DK, it's 88. Calvin will probably have higher, but we'll see. However, there is one thing here. Take a look at the routes, okay? He has 94 deep, which is really good. He has 91 medium, but only 87 short. Whereas DK actually has 90 plus for all three of those with 90 short, 91 medium, and 92 deep route running, which... That short route running, especially with the way the game is played this year, right? With everybody running that man press blitz meta, you kind of want to have that short route running as high as you possibly can. So that way you can get better separation versus man press corners, right? So DK having the 90 short route running is actually really big. And he's really, really good after the catch, right? 93 juke, 90 break tackle, 88 trucking, and he's 235 pounds. Uh, can't really run block all that crazy good, but I really like the DK card. And in terms of custom ability buckets, he also gets 1 AP deep out elite and 1 AP bulldozer, which I believe Megatron also gets. We'll talk about that in a second what ability he gets. But in terms of like which card is actually better, I want to see the Excel on Megatron, and I also want to see after the catch. But obviously, he's 6'5 with incredible deep route running and high spec catch. He is going to be the absolute best, like, deep threat wide receiver in the game. 
but if you want someone who can beat short you might actually decide to go with DK. So I, I guess it comes down to scheme. It sounds crazy to even compare Calvin Johnson, who was just guaranteed to be an absolute monster on the field, to DK on who is the best wide receiver in the game. But that short route running actually has me thinking about it. Regardless, still uh, one of the best wide receivers in the game. So that's Calvin Johnson. And then we have Darrell Revis. And for those of you guys that know me, again, this card art is just amazing, okay? The card art, once again, is just absolutely amazing. Uh, I love Darrell Revis. He is probably my favorite corner in NFL history. I say this every time he gets a card. I'm sure some of you guys are know this is coming, but if, if you guys may not ever notice this, but behind me in my setup, I actually have a like signed Darrell Rivas picture behind me in my setup. For those of you guys that haven't noticed, right there, that is literally Darrell Rivas. So I, for one, am a huge Rivas fan. So this like group of AKA players, I think is just sensational. But he has 91 speed, 90 excel, 91 man, 91 zone, and 93 press with 87 play rank. I mean, this card is just incredible as well. Uh, we compare him to Charles Woodson, who is the best corner in the game. He has 91 speed, 89 excel. 91 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility. Charles Woodson uh, has the agility of 92. If we take a look at play rack, 87, 87 right here. Press, 88. Revis, 93. And then 91 and 91, whereas Woodson has 90 and 92. So I will admit, this press difference here between 88 and 93, yeah, that's quite a big difference, especially, again, because of the way the game is actually played. A lot of people like to run that man of press meta. And if you do, Revis is probably the best in the game at that right now. 90 jumping as well. Charles Woodson uh, has a 91 jumping. And Revis is 6'1", or not Revis, Charles Woodson is 6'1". Whereas Darrell Revis is 5'11". But I will be honest, even though he's only 5'11", I still think this card is going to play absolutely incredible. 5'11 isn't even that bad, right? There's a lot of corners that come out every year that are like 5'9". And then you're starting to worry a little bit. At 5'11", you can kind of get away with it, but... I don't know if I'd want to have him going up against, you know, Calvin Johnson or DK Metcalf on a high point ball. Probably wouldn't go too well for you. But as I told you guys, these AKA players do, of course, get some special abilities when you power them up, uh, which you guys can see. Calvin Johnson X Factor is double me for three AP, which means he's going to start the game with double me for three plays and then lose it for six, get or lose it for nine, I believe it is, and then get it back again three plays later. He also gets wide receiver apprentice for one AP, deep out and mid and lead for one AP. That's pretty good. And then Darrell Revis has X Factor of shutdown for three AP. He is on the ball for zero AP and acrobat for three AP. Acrobat for three AP, that is massive. And then he also has flat zone KO for one AP. And for those of you guys that don't know what on the ball is, that is free for Revis. Well, it is pretty much the counter to run off elite which I don't think anybody uses, but run off elite pretty much where you run the ball and your receiver will just run and the corner will be tricked to just follow them on run plays. So yeah, Revis pretty much won't fall for that if you use that on, on the ball for zero AP. I would probably rather use the Acrobat though for three AP because that is really, really big. So these are the two AKA players coming out tomorrow, Revis and Megatron. These cards are nasty, okay? Just without a doubt, these cards are absolutely disgusting uh, and the card art on them is like the best card art I have ever seen. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on it. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Check out Underdog Fantasy and come hang with me tonight on Let's Hang.Live. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.